Diction is done with the teeth and the tip of the tongue. Diction is done with the teeth and the tip of the tongue. What? <laughs> you like New York, you need New York, you know you need. You need New York. <clears throat> The Coney Island Wine Bath, a grand tradition at Burlesque at the Beach. The act started in the early 1930s by a performer named Terza. It started as a shower act, but when it came to Terza's attention that people in the cheap seats couldn't see the water, she did what any good performer would do. She turned that water into wine. Et voila. Terza the Wine Girl Bath was born. Wine Bath Girl. Terza the Wine Girl Bath. Terza the Bath Girl. And she's in a bath. <laughs> Terza the wine girl. <laughs> God damn it, that's so frustrating. She turned that water into wine. Whoa! Et voila, Terza the wine bath girl was born. Hope you're thirsty. What? I'm a millennial, so growing up, my parents taught me to believe I could be anything I wanted to be. And they were right. By the time I was 23, I was living my dream. I was a full-time, drunken degenerate and gainful employee of all things New York City burlesque and nightlife. I was dancing dances and singing songs and paying my rent one sweaty, genital, wiped dollar bill at a time. It was everything I'd ever dreamed of and more. Then the recession happened and people got scared. Then social media became a thing. Then social media became everything. People didn't want to come out and watch us dance anymore because they were too busy on their phones. Social interaction wasn't happening in person anymore. It was happening online. Oh, <laughs> ah, sorry. So gigs started to dry up. Clubs started closing and the ones that stayed open turned to bottle service. Suddenly, New York City wasn't a place where a full-time naked person could survive anymore. So I moved to Los Angeles. What I didn't realize during my drunken glory days, was that I had inadvertently joined a grand tradition of queerdos and weirdos banding together in opposition to a mainstream media that either left us out entirely or treated us like afterthoughts to their straight male protagonists. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Burlesque. Burlesque has been popular three times in the last 150 years and always as a fuck you to commerce over art. The first time it was popular was in the Victorian era, when women used their highly politicized bodies to draw attention to their scathing social commentary. Burlesque comes from the Italian word burlesco, meaning to mock or to laugh. Ugh. Once it became clear, however, that burlesque shows made a bunch of money, which they did, male producers took over, and they increased the nudity, reduced the scathing social commentary, until finally it was just a bunch of naked people sitting around, which felt gratuitous. So the fun police promptly shut them down. Then there was the golden era of burlesque in the late 1930s, when briefly the criminalization of the female form was no longer in vogue. Plus, burlesque offered something that the newly minted film and radio couldn't. Live, nude, girls! Emphasis on the live. Fast forward to now, when the internet has brought sexploitation of women and transactional nudity to fever pitch, and burlesque is once again on the outs. Naked women are gratuitous. Naked women who talk are a movement. It's a cycle, guys. We're gonna go through it again. Still, those were the days of roses. Or as Tom Waits would say, No for the day the Lord has. Kind of. In 2001, Terza, the wine bath girl, found out that um, Burlesque at the Beach in Coney Island had revived her signature wine bath act. And in response, she sent them a cease and desist act demanding royalties. So much to a fuck you for commerce over art. Guys, there are so many things in this life I don't think I'll ever understand. Uh, pay for service healthcare, uh, active investment strategies, organized religion, homophobia, Racism, pointy-toed shoes, Saturday Night Live. But I'm trying to be less negative. You can't hate someone else's success enough that you become successful on your own. Sometimes you have to just like hunker down and throw a better party. Throw a better party. The brunch rave. Of course, the brunch rave. Oh, wow. <laughs> 